Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Elisa. I film lifestyle vlogs and motivational content. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe down below for more videos. So today I'm really excited because I'm kicking off a new series that I thought would be a fun avenue to explore as I grow my YouTube channel. If you've been following along with my videos, then you'll know that most of the videos that I've been posting have been vlogs. And while I love being able to share a part of my life and I really enjoy the process of editing it and being creative with it and really challenging myself to explore like different editing techniques, um, a large part of me also wants to just sit and talk with you guys and I haven't really done that like I feel like I've done a few sit down videos but apart from that I really haven't um, gone down this route of being able to sit to the camera and talk about a you know certain topic so the new series that i'm starting is called chats with elisa i'm not sure if that's going to stick i may change it down the line but for now that's what we're going to call it and just like the name implies it's basically where i'm going to be choosing a topic and hopefully you know over time as the series grows you guys can also give me your input on what you want to hear and it's where i'm going to be discussing a variety of different topics and i'm just going to be sharing my thoughts unfiltered and hopefully providing something valuable something that you can take away from the video so my goal for these this series is not just to like ramble on but to really provide a positive takeaway that's the goal i'm not sure yet how i'm going to be structuring or formatting it but i just thought that it would be a really cool fun series to start so with that said i'm going to quit rambling on and let's just jump right into the video so the first topic that I wanted to explore was social media. I feel like this was a really fitting first topic because obviously if you're watching this video, then you're using some type of social media. Social media. And when I think about social media, I feel like there are two sides to it. There's the, you know, side of people who are really into it and really love it and make a living off of it. You know, we see influencers building a career out of social media, which is crazy to think because I feel like 10, 12 years ago, that career option didn't even exist. And then you have celebrities who, you know, make social media a part of their brand. So social media is really transformative in the sense that it's really just revolutionized how people communicate, how we receive information, and just so much. Now, on the opposite side of the spectrum, I feel like there are people who are really against it, and understandably so, because you know, it's no doubt that social media has an effect on our mental and emotional well-being. And so I feel like when people are a little bit more hesitant or against social media, they're looking at it from a perspective of like how much, I guess, potential damage that it can do if you don't keep yourself in check. And I would say I really understand both sides of the argument because as a small content creator, I mean, I don't even really consider like, that to be like my career but it is something that I enjoy doing and it is something like as a person who has social media and has a YouTube channel I really find the value in the creativity I love being able to connect with people who I would otherwise not be able to connect with so I really see the value in it at the same time I can totally see how someone can look at this really superficial tool i guess and just be like you know this is such a horrible thing that our society has come to and it's kind of like finding that middle ground in between those two extremes of you know where i am right now i like to create i enjoy creating but i've also had to do some really deep reflection and really deep you know thought into how i want to mindfully consume social media and I think that for the most part, I've gotten a handle on how I consume social media and I've gotten to a point where I can enjoy it and I can find fulfillment in what I do without, I guess, relying on the validation of other people 
or without getting lost in the social media world. And that's not to say that I don't have off days or that it doesn't affect me. It's just to say that like from a holistic standpoint, I would say I am much, much better at controlling it and being mindful about, you know, social media in general versus like two, three, or even five years ago. So I wanted to share kind of my tips and how I deal with it and hopefully they are helpful for you guys. The one thing that I feel like was extremely helpful for me and that was honestly a game changer is having agency over who I follow. I think a lot of people forget this. You know, social media is often coined as this comparison game where people put on their best faces, their, you know, most shiny parts, and it's essentially a highlight reel of a person's life. It's not reality. And when I started comparing myself to this version of someone that didn't even really exist, it really destroyed my confidence and it really affected me on ways that I, you know, was so uncomfortable with because I knew in my head how ridiculous it was to get so like caught up in the validation and the likes and the comments and okay, this post for some reason didn't do as good as this post. Okay, maybe I should post at this time. Like there was a time when it was I was so like it felt like I had to orchestrate this whole like thing and it really shouldn't be that way. Like I feel like if you are at that stage, then it's a really clear sign that something needs to change. So around, I wanna say 2018, it's a little bit fuzzy for me, but it was in the beginning of my college years where I decided to take a huge social media break. So I deactivated and deleted most of my social media accounts. So I had Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, like I even deleted no, I think I still had my Pinterest account. I think Pinterest was the only like social media account that I still had and was, you know, checking in every once in a while, but definitely Instagram. I took a six month break, I want to say. It was like six to eight months. And that time was really crucial for me to really understand, you know, what I liked about myself what why was i so affected by social media like why was it making me feel so insecure and i came to the conclusion that i needed to be mindful about the content that i was consuming you know i see a lot of the times people will follow like thousands of different people celebrities and you know to each their own like social media is all about expression so whatever makes you happy you do you just keep in mind these are just my thoughts my opinions you can agree with them you can agree partially um you can totally disagree that's completely fine but anyway i see people following like thousands of people and i used to be i guess in the beginning when i first started when i first got on social media i would like follow celebrities and different people and again there's nothing wrong with following someone that you admire or that you think is cool or beautiful or whatever um it's just that when i started to be intentional about who I'm following and asking myself, okay, like does seeing this photo of this really expensive car and someone just kind of showing off how much money they have really make me feel good about myself? Is it really contributing to my happiness? Is it making me want to be a better person? And I know social media doesn't have to be that serious. Like some people just go to it for a very like fun and just like carefree forum to you know, get a laugh out or to connect with people. So I understand that some people don't want to think of social media in that sense. But I think that this is really useful advice for people who are affected by social media and who do experience like this really, you know, intense, like mental, like are, is like mentally affected by social media. Like if you're leaving the app feeling worse about yourself, I think you should really consider and reflect on how the content and how the people that you follow affect you and you know follow things that you enjoy like if you're really into cooking or if you really like fashion like follow those types of things like you don't have to follow like the most you know popular celebrity out there um you can but if it's not making you feel good about yourself then you know why spend the time to look at these people because at the end of the day like it's not real life that's not really you know what's going to 
bring you true genuine happiness it's all just kind of like a facade so when i started being really selective about who i was following even in my personal circle like even just in like you know people who i would like follow because we were quote unquote friends when in reality we shared like one class together and we now we don't ever speak um you know i unfollowed those people and it's not coming from a place of like oh i'm better than you or you don't deserve my follow like definitely not that because i am a very average normal 21 year old woman but it just came from a place of like what is this contributing to me is it making me happy and i feel like if you were to look at the list of people like who you follow and your followers and you were to actually analyze like you know how many of these people like do i actually care about or who actually care about me like do i share a meaningful connection with these people i feel like the majority of people would argue that no like probably a very very small percentage of of your followers and the people that follow you are people that you actually interact with and actually care about and so that's kind of like a mind-blowing concept that i kind of like came to terms with like now that when i follow people i am very like i filter it like i think about it like okay like is is it you know i was gonna say is it worth following them but again that kind of like implies the sense of like superiority and that's not where i'm coming from it's just a sense of like is it gonna contribute to my happiness and there's nothing wrong with taking control of that so you know i guess that would be like the most important tip that i would have is taking agency over who you follow what content you're following because at the end of the day like you're in control of it no one is telling you telling you who to follow or what content you should keep up with that's all on you so there's this you know argument a lot of the times that you know it's in the influencers responsibility to not be so fake to not be so like like to not brag about how much they have and while i think it would be really refreshing to see that shift and we have already like i feel like there is a trend of people being more authentic we're just not all on that same page yet while i think it's a very like admirable movement i think we can never force anyone to post or how to post and it's not their responsibility to make us happy it's our responsibility to take control over our happiness including you know this the social media um people that we are following so you know that was like a very long-winded rant of basically saying to be mindful of who you follow and i think the other key factor to this kind of like the the second part of this conversation is to take social media breaks i already mentioned this previously but taking a social media break was honestly so life-changing for me and it really changed the way i looked at social media because when i eventually came back to social media i started seeing it from a very different lens you know i went from seeing it as like oh like i hate social media i never want to like get on it again and there's definitely days where i where i feel like that and, you know granted there are fewer but i started seeing like the creativity and the value that it can bring if i were to just you know take ownership over how it was affecting me which you know goes back to like the previous point about taking ownership so i feel like being able to step back from social media and set boundaries and tell yourself this isn't reality like this isn't the real world and to be able to have connections and passions and projects outside of the social media world is so important and crucial to staying grounded and that's something like as i'm growing on my youtube channel and as i'm you know getting into social media because it is so intertwined with like what i love to do i have to remind myself that it's not real life that it's just you know it's for fun but the real happiness comes from the people and real connections that i've already cultivated like in my actual life so those are my you know thoughts on social media um i know this was like kind of a really rambly kind of hopefully it wasn't too all over the place but i'm hoping you took something away from it and just remember that 
have fun with social media, don't take it so seriously, don't compare yourself to anyone because at the end of the day, you know, we all have bad days, we all just want to feel accepted and valued and you'd be surprised by the amount of people who feel the exact same way that you do, no matter how famous they are. Trust me, like everyone goes through it. So with that said, I love you guys and I hope you have a great rest of your day.